What's going on guys, Deadly here and welcome back to some more Advanced Warfare. This time we're playing on Instinct and we're still playing Free For All. And I believe we're going to be using the AK-12, which is by far my favorite assault rifle. The other really good assault rifle is the BAL, but I've never ever used the BAL. Or I have, but like I don't know, Like I just don't like the way it feels. With that being said, the BAL is by far the best assault rifle. I think it's the best gun in the game so far, because every other gun seems to be a little bit underpowered. And uh, the BAL seemed to get it right, and right there that guy spawns in front of me, that's so crappy. I actually felt bad for taking that kill, but if I hadn't taken it, he would have killed me. Um, but what I want to talk about this game is the few things that annoy me about this game, and it's not the spawns, although the spawns are quite annoying. Eventually you get used to how hectic the game is, and that's okay, and they'll maybe fix it, maybe they won't fix it, and in reality... I don't think they've ever fixed spawns in any Call of Duty, so I'm not too looking forward to that because it's. I, I have a feeling it's something that's not going to happen. But a few things that they have fixed, and I hope they fix again, are the footsteps in this game. And it's not, it's not that I can't hear my enemy's footsteps, because you can't. You actually can't hear your enemy's footsteps. It's that my footsteps are so, so loud, and it's, it's annoying, like... I usually play with the headset because it lets you hear the game better. It's just an overall better experience. You know, you have the sounds, the, the lows and the highs of the bass. It's like, it's a good experience to have a headset. Um, besides the fact that obviously you can hear footsteps. Um, but when you're wearing a headset and you're listening to your own footsteps, oh my god, that gets so annoying. Like, the entire game is just... It's just your footsteps. And then, they, because you're wearing an exosuit, there's this mechanical noise to it now as well. And that's all you hear throughout the entire game because you can't hear anyone else's footsteps. Now, I, like I said, I don't have a problem with not being able to hear anyone else's footsteps. But if my footsteps are so damn loud, my opponent's footsteps should be pretty loud as well to the point where I can hear them. And so here would be my suggestion. Either one, make my footsteps silent and keep all footsteps silent. I'm okay with that. I don't care. Or two, make all footsteps loud, not just mine. Because it's just outrageous how loud mine are compared to my enemies. My enemies are like silent and mine are incredibly loud. It's like, what is going on? What am I doing differently from them? And, that, and it's just really annoying. It's really annoying to hear that constant like foot, footsteps in your ear. Um, so yeah, just take them away. I, I don't. I don't want to hear my footsteps. I don't want to hear my. I don't want to hear my opponent's footsteps. Just no footsteps. Those are stupid sounds that don't need to be in here. Sure, it's realistic, except for the fact that I don't actually ever hear my footsteps unless I'm like in an empty corridor with nothing at all making noise. And if you look around this map, there's a whole bunch of machinery, and we're in the middle of like a forest, so there has to be birds and wind and trees rustling, which are gonna drown out my footsteps in real life. So. You know, I, I think I make a pretty good argument when I say footsteps shouldn't really be heard. Um, with that being said, another thing that annoys me a lot going on with ridiculous unneeded sounds is whenever you get like an achievement or a challenge or anything, why, why the rock concert every single time? And especially if you get them in a row, like over and over and over again, like right there at point blank, thanks for playing that sound in my ear, Call of Duty, I really appreciate it. Like, and, and when you string them together, it's just absolutely ridiculous and they get so loud that you can't even hear people shooting at you so it's not even it's not even the point of footsteps anymore that you can't hear your opponent's footsteps it's a point that you can't hear them shooting at you like that okay like that's a little bit outrageous like really i get that i'm awesome but i don't want a rock concert every single time i do something um <coughs> and i apologize i have a little bit of a cough so i'll try not to cough into the mic so as to not blow your eardrums out but there we go payback you know, like rock concert, dun, 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 all the time. It gets really, really, really annoying. And in reality, that's just one of those things you don't need. Like, that doesn't add anything to the game except for the fact that there's a little noise every single time you do something. Um, and that gets pretty annoying every once in a while. Um, another thing that happens quite a bit is that you randomly get a red bar, and like I don't know if that actually does anything. I don't know if like the latency bars that you see when you press the back button if they're accurate at all. But I've been in games where everyone except one person has like a red bar, and it doesn't feel like that. But every once in a while, there's kills where you'll be like shooting a guy, and you'll be shooting him in the chest or the head, and you're like, oh, there's no way I'm not gonna get this kill, and then boom, you die instantly. It's like what the hell just happened? And you watch the kill cam. And it turns out that he'd been shooting you that entire time you thought he wasn't shooting at you. And it's like, what? Like, that's not what I saw on my screen. And I think that has to do with the connection. 
Um, and a lot of people have been complaining about the connection. So although I don't think I've been having issues with them, except for like sometimes I, like I said, I shoot someone and it's like, whoa, did I, how did I not get that kill? And it turns out they had been shooting me the whole time as well. Um, I haven't had like any obvious lag where it's like, whoa, okay, this is, this is weird. I'm disconnecting or I'm lagging from place to place. But it's absolutely a problem when everyone has a red bar. Uh, because even if it's not the connection, like fix your latency bars. Tell us the right latency. Don't tell us that we have four bars if we don't, or uh, one bar if we don't have one bar. Like that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my two cents on things that I think need to be fixed, uh, besides the obvious spawns and all that. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's about it. Honestly, I don't know why they changed the whole thing from ghosts. Where I think on Call of Duty. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops, if you had the ghost perk on, it protected you from UAVs only if you were moving. Um, I don't know why they took that out. I think that should maybe add that back in. I think that'd be pretty cool just because it stops the camping, which is happening a lot in this game. And I and I think the camping that's happening isn't going to be isn't going to stay for long. And I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, come on, it's a Call of Duty game. There's going to be people camping all the time. And you're absolutely right. There will be a lot of camping in Call of Duty games. But I think there's a lot more of it right now just because people are still kind of getting used to the whole jumping around everywhere and being all crazy. And it's very hard to cover your angles. Like, let's be honest, it's it's really, really, really hard. But uh, that's I guess that's another thing that could add is uh, change the the cold blooded thing or what is it in this game uh, low profile change the low profile thing so that they only don't see you if you're moving so that campers can't really take advantage of that. But anyways, uh, we're coming to the close of the video. Twenty nine kills and um, this has been by far the best game that I've ever played and I think it's because I did what I told you guys last time and I didn't pick any kill streaks. No kill streaks. All of the points went into my uh, class, and I, I felt really, really good with this class. It was actually really fun to use. But anyways, guys, that is the close of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day or night, depending on when you're watching this. Peace.